excited to show you our latest addition to the Skunk Works lineup. We're gonna call this thing the lightsaber. The reason we're calling this the lightsaber is because it's light and it's, it's very deadly. The chassis on this particular rifle is made out of magnesium, so it's very, very light. You can tell the folding hardware here, it's all aluminum with carbon fiber, so shave some weight there. And then another cool feature on this chassis is this printed titanium grip. We're just losing ounces everywhere we can. The stock also has the M-lock slots, and so you can add all kinds of hardware, including your night vision rails, etc. So we've got our bipod rail and then our QD mounts that come standard with this gun. Uh, we paired up with some pretty cool optics this time. Uh, we're using a little one and a half to eight power Schmidt and Bender scope, K26 on the objective. But we've got 32 minutes of correction in this thing and a nice reticle that we can hold for some wind. So fast target acquisition, kept the weight down, still have plenty of juice to shoot out there a long ways. Another real cool feature about this weapon is the barrel. All right, it looks heavy, it's not. This is actually a titanium sleeve on a suppressed barrel. So if we take the cap off here, you're gonna see some pretty cool stuff here. So all the baffles, expansion chamber, etc., is machined into this barrel from the get-go. To make it suppressed, we're just gonna add that titanium sleeve. So not only are we taking a lot of weight off, we're reducing the decibel level significantly. When you get in a hurry on those fast shots, what this gun is made for, having earplugs is, is still recommended but you're gonna get away without it if you need to. So, lightweight, super foldable. This thing's only 33 inches overall length when it's folded, or 42 uh, when it's not folded, but this thing straps perfectly onto the side of a backpack. I mean, we're just right around seven pounds without the optics, so we've got a really, really light configuration that's good for mountain hunting. This compact rifle here is chambered in a 338 Ruger Compact Magnum. So we're shooting a 225 grain bullet, 25, 2600 feet per second. And so whether you're shooting hogs at night or you're in Alaska chasing moose, hunting bears out of a ground blind, or even whitetails out of a tree stand, uh, this package is going to get the job done. Uh, you can strap it onto your backpack and carry it up in the mountains. It's a great lightweight packable compact rifle. Just remember this thing is light. It's probably as light as our climber, but it's going to hit like our hammer. So like all of our Skunk Works projects, we have a very limited number for sale. They sell very quickly. Uh, remember the last one we did, the blaster, we sold out in a week. Uh, I think this one's gonna be the same. You probably don't have time to confer with your better half. You just need to call up your salesman and get one on order. My name is Daniel McElroy, and I'm product design director here at Daniel Defense. I'm here to introduce the new Delta 5 Pro. So about two years ago, we launched the Delta 5. While people have received that product greatly and they, they love everything about it, we've been listening to the consumer and with two years of work, we've basically turned the dial to 11 on everything for this rifle. This rifle is really meant to give you every advantage you can get from a custom rifle builder, but at that production price standpoint. So the MSRP of this rifle is gonna be $2499.99. So it, it squeaks in underneath that $2,500 limit set by the PRS. Uh, but this is not just going to be for the PRS competitive shooter. It's going to be for anybody that wants to squeeze every bit of efficiency out of their rifle as possible. First and foremost, this rifle is coming standard with a half minute of angle guaranteed. So the rifle can do it, now it's just up to you. So some of the custom features we've added to this gun, right from the factory, give you a Area 419 Hellfire three port brake. A great muzzle brake that's going to keep the recoil as well as muzzle rise down to keep you on target. Underneath the muzzle brake, it's going to be threaded 5 8 24 on the barrel. That way, if you want to swap it out to a, a suppressor, you can. The barrel itself is still the cold hammer forged barrel, where we forge the contour, the bore, and the chamber at the same time, resulting in an extremely concentric barrel that's extremely accurate. Uh, moving more towards the rear, we have our rail system. This has a couple unique features. Starting off, it has uh, one of the first production Area 419 integrated ARCA lock systems. This is compatible with any really right stuff, ARCA dovetail accessory. Uh, moving to the, the side, you have plenty of M-lock slots. 
for other accessories as well as M-Lock on our front bridge. Whether you want to run thermals or night vision, you've got plenty of options up here. Moving further to the rear, we have our scallop in the top of our rail. This is, as you can see, allows our objective lens to be really low, minimizes our side over bore measurement, which can result in errors at really long distance if it's not exact. Uh, moving more towards the rear, the front of the chassis base, you do have a barrier stop to protect your magazine from causing any potential misfeeds from jamming that mag uh, to the rear. Speaking of the magazine, it's gonna come with a Magpul AICS 10 rounder this time, keep you on the gun a little bit longer. Same great Delta 5 three lug action, and it's gonna come with the Timney Hunter Elite trigger. Moving to the rear of the chassis base, uh, we have what we call a thumb stop. Some people refer to it as a gas pedal, but it basically allows your thumb to have a resting spot on the chassis. Whether you wanna shoot it strong side or weak side, uh, these are not only adjustable for forward and back, but also left or right, so you can run it on either side of the rifle. On the, the very back of the chassis base is our attachment method for our grip. So it's an AR-15 compatible grip System. It comes with our DDM4 overmolded grip. Very comfortable grip, but we know that grips are real personable to people, so we wanted to make sure you could change it out to something if you have a different shooting style, wanted something more angled or more vertical. That's your little place where you can personalize your rifle. Moving on to the buttstock frame, we've kept the adjustability in the cheek piece for waterline up and down, as well as drifting left, right, and toe in and toe out making sure that we have a nice line of contact on our cheek instead of a point. Uh, the only thing we've added on this one is there's a spring that lets you set the height so you do not have to manually hold the cheek riser in place when you're setting your cheek height and getting that right eye relief behind the glass. Coming back to our length of pull system, we have two friction knobs as well as a thumb wheel that will allow you to run that length of pull in or out to get that right fit on the rifle. And then our length of pull system also has a height adjustment on the actual butt pad that is watermarked on the left side of the rifle so you can reset it if you have to change it for another shooter or you're changing it to clean the rifle. As well as this butt pad also has adjustments for cant uh, in or out. So in addition to this great chassis we've designed for the Delta 5 Pro, we've also provided a new contour that you can choose. It's a, uh, what we're calling a varmint. It's gonna be 9-10 at the muzzle, so just under an inch at the, at the shoulder. It's a very heavy profile, a little bit larger than our 750 at the muzzle for our H Palma. This barrel's a little bit more rigid, as well as it soaks up a, a lot more heat than the, uh, the H Palma can take. Basically lets you stay on that gun a little bit longer without any thermal drift. It's an extremely accurate barrel. Uh, the varmint contours are gonna come in 26 inches and available in 6.5 Creedmoor as well as 6 Creedmoor. So whether you're just now starting to think about getting into long range shooting, or if you've been shooting for some time and just looking for that next piece of kit to step up your game to the next level, this is the solution for you. The Delta 5 Pro brings all of the features and all the accuracy of those high-end custom rifles, but it brings it to you at a production price point. This rifle will be shipping in three different colors, standard black anodized, coyote tan, or olive drab green. Today to introduce you to our newly re-engineered long range muzzleloader. Built on the tradition of our previous muzzleloaders, this new design is the most accurate long-range muzzleloader system available. We've made four significant improvements, starting with the shooting platform. All Gunworks muzzleloaders are built on our proprietary Magnus stock, which is designed to optimize recoil management. Its adjustable recoil pad design creates a more positive shoulder contact when shooting from the prone position, which allows the shooter to successfully spot his or her own shots. For the first time, the Gunworks muzzleloader is available in three action options. All three are available in right or left hand. The GRB, stainless steel, and now our GLR action in both stainless steel or titanium. New for this year, the Gunworks muzzleloader uses the ultimate muzzleloader ignition system, which dramatically boosts burn rate and efficiency. This new design features a two-piece ramrod. It is purpose engineered to eliminate the barrel collar other muzzleloaders use a barrel collar to store the ramrod, but we have found that that alters the point of impact. By eliminating that collar, this new design allows the barrel to stay free-floated for increased accuracy and consistent point of impact. Now, you might be asking yourself, why do I need a long-range muzzleloader? Well, let me tell you what attracts me to the long-range muzzleloader. Is that most states have some great tag opportunities and a lot easier draw odds to draw some of these really premium tags. And most of these tags occur well before the rifle season. 